a man and his dog, murder, a mustachioed villain, revenge, and a climactic twist ending. It's all captured in this 98-year-old silent treasure called The First Degree, lost, like most silent films, for decades. I did scan the first degree on this machine. Then came the pandemic, which gave Olivia Babbler time to view five unexamined reels of film in the Chicago Film Archives. The 1923 silver screen classic had been sitting there since it was donated in 2006 in pristine condition, miraculous considering where it was discovered. It was being stored in Peoria in a closet next to a water heater on nitrate film stock, which is flammable, so is certainly not meant to be stored uh, in fluctuating temperatures. Then she checked the U.S. Library of Congress list of lost films. The first thing I did when I was researching this film was checking that list and it was a bit nerve wracking because to know that you have the only copy of something that is, is totally unique and, and very old. Discovering lost films is a rarity. Three in four of the thousands of silent pictures ever made are fully or partially lost, relics of a bygone era including classics like the 1917 film Cleopatra. A few stills and 20 seconds remain. 1922's Sherlock Holmes, some of it still missing. Gold Diggers of Broadway from 1929, the third Warner Brothers film shot in Technicolor. And Lon Chaney's 1927 London After Midnight, destroyed in an MGM vault fire. Before the Hollywood era, many films were made outside of California at places like SNA Studios in Chicago, films with stars like Gloria Swanson and Charlie Chaplin. That era is now lost, like half of the films made before 1950. Those that survived now lie frozen in time in temperature-controlled film vaults, some with titles you'd never see today. They're incredible visual documents of, you know, eras gone by and, you know, big films like Hollywood films tell us one version of the story, but then other kinds of uh, works like documentaries or industrial films and things like that show us another part of society that otherwise would have been completely forgotten. Still somewhere in musty closets, dusty attics, and archive shelves here and around the world, there are surely many more big screen treasures waiting to be discovered. John Hendren, Al Jazeera, Chicago.